Yes. How are the twins? Wonderful. But believe me, I've got my hands full making their formulas and bathing them and everything. Bathing them? Mm-hmm. You mean you actually give those little things a bath? Certainly. Last night, I decided to give them their first bath. Yes? I got the tub ready and sent Snooks to the drugstore for some baby powder. On the way home, she picked up Red and brought him back. Oh, Red. I was busy in the bathroom and didn't hear them come in, but they sneaked into the nurse. Now, don't make no noise, Red. Okay. Who are they? Right there in most two cribs. Who are they, boys or girls? Half and half. <laughs> that one's a boy and that one's a girl. Well, how do you know? Well, Daddy says you can tell by the blanket. Blanket? Yeah. The boy has the blue blanket and the girl has the pink one. What do you know? Mm-hmm. Shall, shall we fool Daddy? How? Well, change the blanket and then he won't know which is which. <laughs> well, I got a better idea. Let's switch the kids. Okay, get a switch. No. <laughs> I don't mean that. They're too little to hit. You think so? Well, sure. Besides, we ain't worn ropes for you out yet. Ropes are getting awful big, Red. Well, the two of us can handle him. Hey, uh, what's these kids' names? They ain't got no names. <laughs> but, but I call them both stinky. <laughs> Do they ball much? Only when they're hungry. <laughs> and they eat 40 times a day. <laughs> well, I guess it'll cost me a pretty penny, but a deal's a deal. Which one do you want to trade? Take the boy. He's uglier. Oh, go on. He ain't no uglier than the girl. She looks like you. <laughs> well, I'll take the girl then. No, I think I'll take the boy. All right. When do I get the chickens? Well, you, can, you can come and get them now if you like. You think that crib will hold nine kittens? Is there only nine? You said there was ten. Well, I counted wrong. And I ain't going to trade. Besides, Daddy might get mad. Well, what's he going to get mad for? He's got plenty of kids, but he ain't got no cats, has he? <laughs> no. Well, maybe we can teach one of the twins to catch mice. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to trade. Well, I better get out of here before your old man starts to kiss. Nurse, when did you get bread? What are you doing in the nursery? Oh, hello, Mr. Higgins. Snooks just brought me in to look at the new babies. Oh, they're beautiful, Mr. Higgins. Oh. <laughs> ah, do you really think so? Oh, yeah. They had a mustache. They look just like you. <laughs> the girls got a mustache. Oh, nonsense. That's just from her milk. As soon as I bathe her, that'll disappear. Will she disappear, too? <laughs> I hope not. Oh, where's the powder? Powder? I sent you to the drugstore for some powder for the babies. Oh, they didn't have no gunpowder. I right? didn't send you for gunpowder. Flea powder? No. I sent you for talcum powder. What happened? Tell him, Red. What does he know about it? Oh, well, I went with him, Mr. Higgins. And when we got to the drugstore, there was an awful big line there. And we had to stand on the end of the line. Yeah. If it was so crowded, why didn't you go to another store? Because I forgot what you wanted. You forgot? Yes. Yeah. Then why didn't you come home and find out? Well, we didn't want to lose our turn, Mr. Higgins. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> what sense is there in standing in line waiting for your turn if you didn't know what I wanted? Well, we knew what we wanted. Have a jelly bean, Daddy? No. <laughs> and I'll punish you for that as soon as I finish bathing the twins. You go home, Red. Yes, sir. Good night, Snooks. Good night, Red. Is it time yet a chicken come back? Okay. Now move out of my way, Snooks. I've got work to do. Have you got the bathtub full? Yes, but I don't know what I'm going to use for powder. What do they need powder for, Daddy? To make their bodies smooth. Well, why don't you rub them with sandpaper? Maybe you'd like to see me trim their nails with a hatchet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, Daddy. <laughs> oh, stop it. I'd better get busy before the water gets too cool. Are you going to plumb both in together? No, I think I'll take the boy first. What are you going to do with him? Put him in the water, of course. You mind drown the girl? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. You don't think I'm going to drown this baby, do you? Do you? 
Uh-huh. You're out of your mind. Go fetch me a towel, quick. Where's the towel, Daddy? In the linen closet. Bring it to me in the bathroom. Do you want a boy towel or a girl towel? Bring one of each. And hurry. Now. <laughs> Easy, little fella. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have you bathed and back in bed without you even knowing it. Now, let's get these things off. It's cold, Daddy. Oh, thank you. Put them down on the hamper and leave the bathroom. Why? Because, because ladies don't watch gentlemen while they're bathing. Why? Because they don't. Get out. Oh, don't be silly. There isn't room for the two of you. I'll sit on top of them. No. Then just let me grab my feet in the tub. Please step aside, Snooks. I'm going to put him in. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even holler, Daddy. No. That's because I got the temperature of the water just right. If the water's too hot, the baby turns red. Do you cook them like lobster? <laughs> You don't cook them at all. The excessive heat of the water will cause the skin to turn a deeper red than it is. If the water's too cold, the baby will turn blue. <laughs> He's turning white, Daddy. Oh, why, of course. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah. He needed a bath. <laughs> no. It means the water's just right. Well, that's enough, little man. Hand me a towel, Snooks. What for? I want to dry him. Well, why don't you hang him on a clothesline? Get me a towel and hurry. The child's slippery. Here, Daddy. I ah, have to dry them very gently. <laughs> now you go on to bed while I bathe the other one. Oh, can I watch? You've already watched me bathe the boy. You don't have to watch the girl. Well, just let me watch while you undress that. Oh, what for? Because i never seen a girl barefoot all over. Oh, <laughs> you'll see her some other time. I've got to get this baby under the covers. Good night, sir. Good night, Daddy. Hey, Snooks, I got him. Look at him. Oh, How'd you get back in here, Red? Oh, I left the front door open. You want the kitten? Have you got the ten of them? Yeah. This blind mm. one's a little dead, but that don't matter. <laughs> Where's the kid? He's in his crib. Daddy just washed him. Do I get his rubber pants, too? What do you want his rubber pants for? Well, you can never tell when it's going to rain. <laughs> oh, here's the kid. Give me the cat. Okay. Help me lift Snooks. up. Are you in the nursery? I'm going. I'll come back for the kid some other time. So long. No, is that you in the nursery? There ain't nobody but a cat does kittens, Daddy. Kittens? Mm. What on earth? Snooks, where did those kittens come from? I think the cat had them. How did they come to be in here? Well, I... Um, Red just brought them over. We was going to make a deal. A deal? Oh. Snooks, you weren't going to trade the baby for those kittens. You weren't. Wasn't I? Oh, no. Why, how could you think of such a dreadful thing? I didn't think of this. Red thought of it. I don't understand it. What does he want with the baby? He said, well, you, you said that he was a bouncing baby, didn't you? What of it? Well, Red was going to take him over to the gas station and get a ten of pounds for him. Oh! <laughs> and you were willing to be an accessory to this crime? No, I knew he'd bring him back, Daddy. How did you know? Because I tried it with the girl this morning. Why, you little... Hold <laughs> <Over> the bell! <laughs> <laughs> 